Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde. This is Renee Jarrett with Not Sorry for the Story, an unapologetic take on current affairs right out of Canada. I had an experience this past week, a dear soul in my life brought up to me in conversation about Hockey Canada and how the whole board had resigned. And he asked me my thought on this. And right out of my gut, I said, well, I'm sure a lot of people are happy. <laughs> and um, I could I could feel the attitude coming off of it. And, and I'm sure he did sense it too. And when I said that, I was like, I'm sure a lot of people are happy about it because, you know, this is what people were expecting. But of course, when funding is pulled, what else are you going to expect? Um, funding is the engine for much here in our nation. And so there it went. And so there the board went as well. And as I heard my own attitude coming out as though, okay, yes, that's been done. Um, now what? So what? He called me on it in a very kind way. And he was like, now we can't let apathy set in because there is another generation coming up behind us. And I have to say in our nation, it's one of the things that we are going to daily have to fight. Apathy. Oh, discouragement. <laughs> we are going to have to encourage ourselves, take heart on a regular basis. And so one of the reasons I realized about the attitude and where it was coming from for me had to do with the aspect of yelling out, crying out in this nation. I feel as though there is a cry in this nation, and that is, is anyone accountable in this nation? Is anyone accountable? There's that line, if a tree falls in the forest, does anyone, and no one's there, does anyone hear it? Well, I believe that the God who is everywhere hears it. He hears cries. You can just see that with the children of Israel and then with individuals. He hears cries and he hears the cry that's going up from this nation. Accountable means to accept responsibility for one's own actions. An individual, organization, institution being expected to be responsible and required to take an account for their actions and their decisions. This is what accountable means. This is what Prime Minister Trudeau's government originally mandated on, campaigned on in 2015. It was one of their key elements, accountability. And now we might be looking around and being like, hmm, <laughs> what's become of that? So now even with the public inquiry into the Emergencies Act, again, there can be a thought, what's going to come of this? But I want to just encourage my fellow Canadians, as I encourage myself, we continually in this nation have to shake ourselves so that if we have the idea that someone else will do it or my actions don't mean much, it is a lie. How can one's actions not mean much? It's the action of others that got us to the point where we are now. So how can our actions not mean much? And if we don't see the people beside us who are doing the same thing, we never know the force that it's going to be. When people gathered in Ottawa back in winter, in February, they didn't know who was going to be there, but they showed up. Imagine if so many people had shown up that there was not a police force big enough to take them down or out. We have to keep showing up, have to encourage ourselves. We have to take heart and continue to do that for one another. So as I see that one of the ones that I'm following, Ginger Nomad 5, just posted, you can go to convoylive.com if you have live footage of your experience from 
the time in Ottawa in February with a gathering of Canadians. Your testimony is valuable. Your story is valuable. Also, I am Sarah Swain and other authors have a book that is now out called The Sovereign. And there is a hashtag, My Sovereign Story. Again, it's great. One of the great encouraging things about what took place in February was to see the amount of unity and that unity brought forth a hope that this nation has never seen. We will not lose the ground or momentum of that in the in-between places. We keep doing the groundwork, the legwork. We keep standing strong. So until next time, be on guard. Be, stand firm, stand firm in the faith. Be strong, be courageous.